I'm Giovanni and today we will discuss Libra, the Facebook cryptocurrencies everyone is talking about. We reached out to Matthias Weissel, CEO at Swiss-based VC Verm Capital, and asked him what he thinks of Libra and the many challenges it is likely to face. Matthias, what is the Libra project and why everyone is talking about it? Yes, uh, the Libra project is, uh, in my opinion, the first project in the world where we're one of the, the largest companies in the world, uh, the GAFA, uh, in, in this case, Facebook is actually taking a lead and seeking exposure towards the blockchain and trying to really create a, a, a currency or, or a stable currency in this case to, to bank the unbanked. And uh, I think in, in this world today, with 1.7 billion people that do not have a bank account, and this is exactly the intention of, of Facebook. But in, in my opinion, it's not only Facebook, it is the consortium in reality that is uh, they're trying to solve. Why is everybody talking about this? because this is a first in the blockchain space that one of the, the top five uh, companies in the world is actually entering into this market. Okay, so if successful, can you give us an estimate of how big in terms of money or capitalization can Libra become? That, that is a difficult question. Let's, let's start with uh, where it stands today. You have 28 founding members. They each spent roughly 10 million uh, to be a part of this network. So you already have a significant amount of, of money and, and backing here. Um, if you then take uh, the transactions that are being done by Visa, by MasterCard and so on, uh, the Facebook can take a significant chunk here. Visa has hundreds of thousands of, of transactions per day or, or per minute sometimes even. And this is exactly where Facebook's, Facebook is tackling into. Talking about Libra's goal, so do you think that Libra can be a solution for the problem of the world's unbanked? And do you see any challenges ahead? Challenges that uh, this project will definitely face is from a legal perspective, uh, especially around uh, financial markets uh, regulation. Because since, since this uh, uh, consortium, uh, I would call it, will uh, issue uh, the investment coin, they will also invest in, in assets. And uh, for this, you need a, an asset manager license going forward in, in a variety of jurisdictions. Of course, this will be different from jurisdiction to, uh, to jurisdiction, but to hold an asset manager's license, but also to have the, the appropriate resellers in place that also have to adhere to the AML procedures underneath that they will be working with very closely. I think these, were, these will be some of the, the legal challenges that the project will be facing. So, according to lawmakers around the globe, with Libra, Facebook is continuing its unchecked expansion and extending its reach in the life of its users. And the US regulators even issued a moratorium asking Facebook to stop developing the coin until some checks will be carried out. So, uh, how funded are the regulators' concerns? A lot of this, a lot of people in this world, they have obviously issues with Facebook, and they have uh, publicly expressed them because Facebook is a, is a monopoly. They have so much data, and uh, there was all, they have been in, in, in negative press, of course. But with the approach that they're taking, I'm not so much concerned about this because we have to go away with the thought that this will be a Facebook coin. This is a consortium coin, and they have have, they have clearly put a roadmap into place that after five years, 20% of the control of this coin, of the consortium coin, will be actually in the hands of uh, non-co-founders, meaning that right now, yes, it is a permission blockchain. It is rather in a closed environment of these 28 uh, founding members. However, we're going towards a decentralized system. And then they even have stated that after seven years, they want to even put more even a larger percentage of control in the hands of non-co-founders. So this shows me that, yes, we do start with a permission blockchain. However, we are going in the right direction of a decentralized system. So according to the white paper, the Libra blockchain will be open to any developers who want to build products on top of it. And according to some observers, uh, this kind of openness uh, raises security risks as uh, shady developers could potentially steal money from users. Do you agree with these concerns? Um, in general, I do not agree with these concerns. We see that uh, the openness of a network in the blockchain uh, is more of an advantage to the people because they come up with 
with uh, very exciting solutions. Yes, there is a risk factor to it. However, they have uh, a consortium of 28 uh, world leading companies that will, I bet, will actually implement some sort of verification process. So this is not in place as of today. And this uh, also implies to me uh, a few risks that could come up in the future. But there, I'm, I'm pretty sure there will be a very clear onboarding and verification process here around the developers. Thank you very much, Matthias. So guys, everybody seemed to be very excited about Libra. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.